Hi, I'm David Berlin with ZDNet. If you saw one of my technology shakedowns last week, then you would have seen how Windows Vista is forcing users to reboot their computers with no way of intercepting that reboot. In other words, if you're using your computer, you're in the middle of an important task, let's say you're on a web conference that you can't disengage from, Windows will force the reboot no matter what. There's no way to stop it or delay it. Now, in that reboot process, you can see the option to delay the reboot, but it's grayed out. A lot of ZDNet readers had questions as to why that might have been. As it turns out, we were logged in as a standard user into Windows Vista. A standard user has different privileges than an administrative user. So what we're doing right now is we're recreating an entire environment and hoping to see whether or not when Windows Vista decides to reboot itself after it's downloaded its updates, it will force us to reboot or it will give us those options. Again, logged in as a user with administrative rights. So as you can see from the computer right now, this is an installation of Windows Vista. It has downloaded those updates. They're available. Now we're waiting for Windows Vista to force us to reboot or to give us the choice to delay it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I waited for Microsoft Windows to force the update and the reboot, but nothing was really happening. So far, all we had was the fact that Microsoft Windows Vista had downloaded the updates and they were waiting on the hard drive to be installed. So in order to move the process along, I went into the Windows Update area of Internet Explorer, and sure enough, it told me that it had downloaded the updates and there was a button to install now. So I decided to click on that and see what happened. I clicked on that and started to install the updates. Now, rebooting is a different step altogether. And as you can see, there were 13 updates in all, and we waited for the progress bar to complete itself, that green bar, and went all the way across. And when it was done, we closed up the update, section of Microsoft's Internet Explorer and then just waited and sure enough the reboot dialog came up and as you can see here it is it says Windows Update restart your computer to finish installing important updates but down here it has an opportunity to remind me okay and there's a drop down menu here and it says remind me in either 10 minutes one hour or four hours and once I click on one of those let's say I click on the one hour then the opportunity to postpone this reboot is actually available to me. So what this is telling me is, is that this forced reboot that we did before and that Microsoft Vista forced me into doing, gave me no choice to postpone as a standard user of Microsoft Windows Vista, is actually available to me the ability to delay it or postpone it when I'm an administrative user. And all I have to do is click on this postpone button. Of course, if I wanted to restart the computer right now, I could click on that. So I'm going to postpone it for an hour. So what should Microsoft do in this case? Well, I believe that the option to postpone a reboot should be available to any user. Standard user, administrative user, doesn't make a difference. What if you're in the middle of something really time sensitive? You shouldn't have to worry about what kind of user you are to avoid your computer being rebooted in the middle of doing something really important. Now, at the very least, what Microsoft should do is set up Vista so that in the event that you get the dialog to reboot the computer and it's got those postponing options in them, it should make the postpone options available to the standard user but require the escalation to administrative credentials in order to make it happen. Now this is the way things work with installing software. Let's say you're on a website, you need to download some ActiveX control to make that website work. If you're a standard user, in order to install that software, you're actually prompted for administrative credentials, the administrative user ID and the administrative password before Vista will allow you to proceed. At the very least, with this little reboot dialog, you should be given that option to escalate and postpone the reboot. For ZDNet, with another one of my technology shakedowns, I'm David Berlind.